I stayed in Georgetown way too long. It's been, I think, three weeks, but it is time to get underway. Heading to Long Island. There's Amy right there. She's getting underway too. Let's go. There we go. We got a reef in the main. Full head sail is out. We are cruising along nicely. We're almost railing the water. It's close. Oh, it's super gusty. It's like shifty and gusty. Once I get out the out on the outside, it should be a little bit better. You know, right now it's hitting land on all sides. Oh yeah. A lot of boats up there. Apparently I wasn't the only one with the idea. Check this out. Tis the season. This is a beautiful day. Couldn't ask for anything better. And it's perfect. Super narrow channel. You can see the buoy right here. The buoy right here. There's another boat coming right at me. Some of the sails fluffing so much. I'm trying to point as high as I can. So smiley. I love to see that. Making about five, six knots or so, and about to head out of the cut into deeper water. Then I'll throw out my fishing line, try and get something. This is what I'm gonna use today. Uh, orange and green. Someone said it worked for them. Oh! It's gusty. Pushing water. <laughs> Living the dream, baby! Living the dream! Don't hit the reef, trout. There's a the reef there. And there's a the reef there. And I'm going right through them. Now I make the turn to go offshore. We're gonna fall off the wind. Right from where that catamaran is in front of me coming in. Oh, I gotta tune the sails. I can't do that with my phone in my hand. Tune. Perfect. That was easy. Rocks on that side. Tanker on that side. Line in the water behind me. Sails are full of wind. Yeah, man. Hydro vane is engaged. I think I'm gonna put another line in the water. Try to figure out a way I can. 
strap this reel in so I can uh, use the big rod. All right, I put the big rod out too. I just gotta hold it. It does have a lanyard on it, just in case. Uh, you can see it way back there. It's got that spraying lure. Just realized I had a selfie stick for the GoPro, so we're gonna try out some GoPro footage. Ooh. Don't fall, don't got my harness or any non-skid on the deck. Woo. Yeah, I'm mine. Hydrovane needs a name. Oh, he just fell off course for a little bit. Got himself back on course. Noise! It was only about four or five miles offshore. And now we're going back into the shallows and hug the inside the rest of the way. I think it means we got like 25 or 30 miles to go. So, oh yeah, there's a boat right in front of me. I'm trying not to hit. Ha ha! Woo! Love it, man. Freaking love it. Calm down right when I started recording. No, not me. Also, while I was in Georgetown, I made these legs. I would burn some compass roses. Came out pretty well. I gotta finish screwing them in. <laughs> they just sitting. They just don't even have nuts on them. Oh well. Oh, 
another boat. There's a lot of people out sailing today. I love it. First time the hydro vein is uh, kind of annoying me a little bit. It's uh, it's it's gusty today, so when I tune it, then the wind suddenly dies off and I start veering to port, and then the wind picks up really heavy and I go to starboard, and then it dies off. So I'm doing this like course that's twice as long as what I need to do. Not in a rush though, so it's not that bad. Woo! <laughs> There's a dolphin. I don't know what language of dolphin he speaks like. Go the other way. I didn't even want to hang out with you. <laughs> okay, so I was having a little issue with the hydro vane, like wobbling, and I think I got it sorted. It's my old oar. It's gonna crack again, but just I, I jammed it in here and tied it up, and that's holding the hydro vane back so it doesn't have, you know, from the rudder shake down there. Before, the whole thing was wobbling and it couldn't catch the wind good, but now it's seems to be real nice. So hopefully this works long term. If this works all the way, I'll get a better piece for it. <laughs> and the people who know me very well know that I'm absolutely not going to get a new piece for this if it works. I'm going to wait till this breaks. It's going to bite me in the ass at the worst possible time, but Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Alrighty, so Amy from Maritopia, she's about, I don't know, three miles, two and a half miles ahead of me. She just called and said, let's go to White Key and barbecue on the beach. So, uh, heading to White Key. I'll show you white key. I probably can't zoom on the GoPro. I don't know if I can zoom on it. The white key is that one right there. Right there, white key. This is life. It's not too shabby. Oh, I could 100% take the reef out of the main. Uh, but then I gotta do that. And I'm only like a mile and a half away. So we'll leave it in. Tomorrow, hopefully it's gusty. put the reef back in. Win-win. Uh, 
Man, someone loosened my head sail. The sheet. I gotta tighten the sheet. But then I gotta get up. I'm so comfy. Just laying across the cabin top. Still making like three and a half knots. Oh! I'm ruining my head. Hey, ah. The water's really pretty. Really blue. Some might say it's as blue as water. That oar is doing great holding the hydro in. There's no wiggle anymore, and now it's holding a perfect course, so. I should have done that a long time ago, but I'm glad I figured that out. And, yep. It's the most interesting thing that's happened on this sail. I like uneventful sails. I don't like breaks. I like when I can fix that. Check that out. I learned how to edit. broke out a brand new toothbrush yesterday. It feels so good on my teeth. I'm not steering. The hydro vane's still on. I got the wheel tied off there and there. The uh, the wheel lock doesn't really work. We are in 17.8 feet of water. Uno mile to go. Oh yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna ruin Amy's day. My boy Trout is uh, just now showing up. He's working that wind vane pretty good. That's his autopilot. If I didn't have a swim platform, I'd have one. Anchor is set, snubber is on, sails are down. Look how nicely that's flaked. I know it's not perfect, but that's pretty good for me. And uh, yeah, we're here. White key, there's Amy. Oh yeah. I wanna go dive my anchor, make sure it's set all right. I uh, set it under sail. And while I'm down there, I'll show you what the bottom of my boat looks like too. Don't judge me. It is not cleaned. There's going to be a bunch of brown algae on there. But yeah, I'll show you the bottom of my boat and the anchor. I definitely need to clean that. <laughs> Let's go check out the anchor.
unload. Ah, oh, screw it. Let's swim to Amy's boat. How's it going? I'm showing YouTube what the bottom of your boat looks like. It's a lot cleaner than mine. Amigo. Bien, ¿y tú? Yeah. 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 We can say curse words because I learned how to edit. <laughs> You're going to sound like a chicken in that part of the video. <laughs> on over in Amy's dinghy. Uh, I think we're going to look for some conks. Here, conk, 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 conk. Conky, tonkin'. It's making these tracks. A lot of little palm trees here. Amy's hiding back there somewhere. Amy, where are you hiding? Whoop, there she is. You! Living the dream! I figured out what was leaving those tracks. It was this really pretty iguana. Oh, he's trying to catch that fly that's on his nose. Oh, that's a green color. You're right. All right, we explored the island a little bit. Uh, saw some stuff, it was cool. Heading back to the boat.
Sophia, she's grilling <laughs> some burgers. Ow! <laughs> Yum, man. First time using the magma. Woohoo! Working good. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> this is sailing vessel Maritopia. You should go follow her on Instagram or on uh, YouTube. Her YouTube is Amy's Solo Sailing Adventure. We got burgers, we got rum, we got sunset. Living the dream. We got friends. The rest of this sale will be in the next video. Thanks for tuning in.